Tattooing is the practice of applying various types of inks and pigments on the skin to imprint a design on the human body. Tattoos have been used throughout history as a form of decoration, as a part of rituals of passage, as a means to affirm one's collective and individual identity. Tattooing around the Mediterranean has been attested since at least the 4th millennium BCE. In the ancient Balkans, the customs of Illyrians and Thracians included tattooing. Tattoos lost their popularity and social significance in the Thracian East several hundred years before the Roman era, but among the Illyrians, tattooing was an element of their identity and preserved long after, and in fact survived to this day, in the customs of the people of the Western Balkans. Tattooing as a practice possibly marked tribal belonging, communal religious rituals, and rituals of passage like the passage to adulthood or marriage. Strabo notes that the Yapodian Illyrians in Croatia punctured their bodies and likely, Ink needles have been found in the area of the Illyrian Glasinats culture and Lacustral, Donia Dolina, in Bosnia. Between 1300 to 900 BCE, Illyrians sailed across the Adriatic and settled in southern Italy. In northern Apulia, the Yapigian Illyrians were known as the Daunians through their art and have shown the way they saw the world. On stone slabs known as the Daunian Stele, which were used to mark graves or ritual spaces. The Daunians painted women who had their hands and forearms marked with tattoos. On their pottery, they painted the same designs. Camilla Norman, in Illyrian vestiges in Daunian costume, tattoos, string aprons, and a helmet, writes, The Daunian stele are a precious resource for the study of pre- and proto-historic Adriatic. They are anthropomorphic, each showing the dress and adornment of a human figure. A significant proportion also carry a secondary figurative imagery upon their robes, detailing episodes of daily life, ritual, and what is arguably local legend. With otherwise very little figured art or written sources for this society, the stele offered unparalleled information regarding Daunian practices, traditions, and belief systems. They also offered glimpses of Daunian heritage. Two societal attributes evident upon the female stele show that the population had direct links with those from the Balkans namely the tattooed forearms and string aprons that can be traced in the mountainous regions of Bosnia and Albania until this day. Lycophron, writing in the 4th century BCE, also notes that Daunian women painted their faces. In another work of hers, Norman explains this process and its meaning as follows. They are done at the onset of menstruation and indicate that a girl has become a woman, that she is of age and is fertile. The actual process of being tattooed would no doubt have been one of the most enormous importance in a woman's life and inextricably tied to religious beliefs. It is likely certain elements of design were handed down from one generation to the next, thus also affirming ancestry and tribal affiliations. The tattoos were probably done over a period of time in a series of separate sittings. The sittings would no doubt have been steeped in ritual and possibly timed to coincide with significant moments in the seasonal or lunar calendar, thereby honoring the girl's passage from one stage of life to another, as well as that of the moon and the earth. The application of the tattoos would have been very painful and the risk of infection is high, making the rewards all the more meaningful. With the permanent transformation of the body, such women in indigenous populations become the bearers of the personal and collective experience. They carry the cumulative history of their family upon their skin and thereby embody cultural pride. They are seen to be able to mediate between ancestral, human, and environmental elements. At the core, the tattoos reinforce the idea that women, through the ability to reproduce, quote, have responsibility and are directly involved in the workings of the universe. Tattooing of females with symbols like the sun, moon, and crosses have been preserved in the Western Balkans in the traditions of Albanians and some communities in the remote parts of Montenegro and parts of Bosnian Croats. Edith Durham, who traveled among these communities in the early 20th century, saw that both men and women in northern Albanian fists like the Hoti Kastrati, Shkreli, and Kelmendi all had tattoos on their forearms, hands, necks, and other parts of the body. These designs were often based on the symbol of the sun, moon, and crosses, and in some cases the serpent was reported as a tattoo design.
Scholars consider these symbols to be the heritage of Illyrian pagan symbolism, which strongly favored sun and serpent cults. The same symbols were carved on gravestones. In Mezech, southern Albania, the bride-to-be in a ceremony was inked by other women on her hands and feet. In Rogova, Kosovo, the same ritual takes place with inked needles and among the Arvanites of Salamis. Albanologist Petros Forikis recorded the custom of marking the new bride with a round symbol on her palm and dyeing her fingers. These are believed to be customs related to the cycle of life and fertility rituals. Among Bosnian Croats, or Bosnian Catholics, tattooing rituals usually first happened between the age of 13 and 16 in late March, usually in March 19th and also in March 25th. The process was described with the verb sharati, to draw. This ritual was essentially again a symbolism about the cycle of life, fertility, and the transition to womanhood. These symbols themselves were very similar to those of Albanians. The same patterns and symbols are preserved in the decorations of folk costumes from these areas. According to Norman, quote, the string skirts called panjora or panjova or perparie of Albania, Montenegro, Bosnia-Herzegovina, parts of Croatia and Kosovo, and southern Romania, and those of the Serbian vlachs show a remarkable resemblance to the aprons worn by the Daunian stele. As is for true evidence of tattoo in the region, we again see it is the pre-Slavic communities, precisely those which might claim the Illyrians as ancestors, which provide the cultural parallels for the Daunians. In the Albanian highlands, the similarities are particularly marked. A short lozang decorated apron with a copious fringe is worn at the front only. These representations of folk culture were severely frowned upon by religious authorities and in the 20th century state propaganda about modernization made the people who had them feel shame about them or even outright ban them. But customs which survived for thousands of years simply because they expressed an inner truth about people's identity cannot be forgotten so easily. In recent years, new scholars are showing attention to their history and artists. Blend the old symbols and the meanings with new messages about the truths our bodies bear. This was a very brief history of traditional indigenous tattooing in the lands of old Illyria. Thanks again for watching. See you next time and please share and subscribe if you found our video interesting.